What's going on, train people? I'm Ben Wayne, back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. If you've been here before, welcome back. So, I've got something special today, as I'm sure you've seen the title by now. This engine is incredible. Let me, let me just go ahead and get to it. What we have here is the Lionel 2023 Engine of the Year. It's based off the Dreyfus Hudson, and this thing looks absolutely remarkable. Now, I remember about a year and a half ago, Lionel announced this. They sent an email out. It's a Lionel store exclusive. I took a screenshot of it, posted it to the Instagram where I go 100% full throttle 24-7. Check me out on there. And, you know, people were like, oh, it, it looks okay. And, you know, they wanted to know what exactly is a flash metallic paint job. That's what Lionel said this would have. And nobody was 100% sure of what it would look like. But when it came out, you know, there were just a few photos released. Uh, and I posted it online and people were like, wow. And this thing sold out immediately. Now, keep in mind, I didn't have one at the time. So I learned a lesson. Don't ever post anything that I might want because you guys might buy it up first. There were only 25 of these made. So as you can see, as I rotate it, the color, hopefully the camera's capturing how the color changes. So it's going from like a light blue to a darker blue to a purple, depending on, you know, what angle you look at this thing at. Now, I usually don't go for these, you know, Lionel engines of the years because I don't like the paint schemes, but this just did something to me. This looks absolutely incredible. You know, blue is my favorite color, and this one had a lot of blue on it. And then the metallic flake just looks so good. I love the orange accents on the side, along with the cream and white accents. And then you have the Lionel logo on you know, the cylinders up here. I think that just looks tremendous. Now, one thing about the Dreyfus is that it does have some curvature on it. That's gonna allow the light to reflect in different ways. So that flash metallic paint work is really just gonna jump out at you. This thing looks incredible. And it also has the large silver drive wheels that, you know, the Dreyfus is known for. So I also have a, another Dreyfus that I ordered from the catalog. Um, I didn't like the way the uh, prototypical version came out. I personally thought it was too light. That's just my opinion. So I went with the fantasy scheme, which looks like the prototypical version. So I have that one as well. But, you know, I was able to come across this. Now, this... I had already accepted my fate saying that I made a mistake posting it because from what I knew, they all sold out and they were all gone. So I was thinking, that's it. I messed up and I'm just going to have to sit here and probably never see this engine in person again because they only made 25. Well, it turns out there was just one more left and I was able to snag this one. So I am really happy to be able to add this to my collection. The paintwork is phenomenal. Let me show you the tender. The tender is just as gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see the light reflecting off of that. Um, it says Lionel lines on it. And then it says since 1900 and it says limited edition. This thing is just absolutely incredible. You'll notice the road number is 2023, of course, to symbolize that this is the engine of the year for 2023. Um, again, I track these engines of the years every year. And to me, this one, it's the most fantastic one that they've ever done. I'm sure it's gonna be a collector's item and I'm just truly blessed to be able to add this to my collection. So before people even say it, the Polar Express that they offered in the Volume 1 2024 catalog uh, with the iridescent finish, it's gonna be a different finish than this. It's not gonna look the same, right? So Lionel already released a video of a sample of that and it's gonna look different than this. So, you know, if you're interested in getting the Polar Express, it's not gonna have the same. It's probably gonna be a lot lighter and I'm not sure if it will have the, you know, flake in it or that flash coat, uh, but it will definitely be, have an iridescent finish. I'm sure that will be a collector's item if you're into wild stuff like this, but this is just incredible. I've had it for about a week and a half now. I haven't had time to film it the way I want it to, I did an unboxing on Train Talk Tuesday. 
Check me out on Instagram Live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, where we talk about exclusive stuff like this. Um, so now I'm going to take the time to obviously do a YouTube video, which is what you're watching, and um, get this on the layout and run it. But I've had it sitting on the tracks for a week or so, and it's just amazing to see as you walk by it, this model change color. Uh, I think that's incredible. Hopefully I get you guys some crispy B-roll that, you know, replicates that so you can see what I see in its entirety. Um, this engine is just truly, truly incredible. Um, I think it's one of my favorite engines in my collection. Chill out. I know somebody's going to say you said that in another video. You guys know how the hobby is. You can't just pick just one. Um, so this is today. This is one of my favorite engines in my collection. I mean, this thing is just incredible. Let me show y'all again. Let me show y'all again. One of 25, man. This is this is exclusive here, man. This is this is rare. Um, I don't even know. I have, I really haven't seen anybody else post any of these. Um, I don't know if you know a bunch of retirees brought these up and got them sitting on the shelves, but this is something that I just said this needs to be shared. This deserves its own video. So here we are. I mean, look at the way that paint just reflects, you know, in the camera. It's insane how nice this thing came out. Uh, pictures don't do it justice. The catalog photo or the announcement photo definitely didn't do it justice. Um, so if you're into collecting some of the things that are a little bit more rare to find, a little bit more exclusive, this is something that's telling you from go going forward, you need to check out some of the Lionel store exclusives. Um, Nobody's paying me to say this. I'm just saying it because I'm just floored at how amazing this thing is. You know, I posted it a year and a half ago, and people were like, eh, eh. But this thing came out amazing. It has all the traditional features that the latest Dreyfus Hudson has. So that means it's based off a of new tooling. You got the whistle steam, stack steam, you know, the five whistles, five bells, stuff like that, legacy, Bluetooth, all that, all those goodies that the modern Lionel engines are packed with. So, um, I think I've done a lot of talking so far. I think I'm just gonna get this on the track. I might have a set of passenger cars that I can pair this up with. I'm thinking maybe those silver and orange cars I recently opened for the Chessie Greenbrier steam locomotive I have. Um, the one that I also ran with the Chessie uh, Visualine GS4. Uh, so it looks like those 21-inch passenger cars I'm able to now use with three different locomotives. So again, that's a cost savings opportunity that I did that I will have to, you know, communicate to my wife. I am saving money here, believe it or not. All right, let's get this thing on the tracks and see how it looks. Let's see how that color shifts as it runs around the layout. Let's go.
Okay, so that was a brief overview of this Dreyfus Hudson, the Lionel Lines 2023 Engine of the Year. Guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section. This one is an absolute stunner in anybody's collection. Congratulations to the 24 other people who bought these. Hey, if you're not using it, put it back on the market so somebody else can enjoy it. But these things are just, they're quite the looker. It's a jaw-dropping experience as it goes throughout the layout. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this because this engine is incredible and deserving of its own video. All right, until next time, thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I appreciate all the love on Instagram. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram on Train Talk Tuesdays, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I appreciate the support. Until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the Train Collector's Train Collector. I'm out of here.